Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Premier League team of the season is absolutely crazy, and I want to take a look at all of the content that was released on this game yesterday, all the crazy market movements, and what to even expect into today on Saturday with team of the season. Weekend League in full swing, of course, with that new schedule. Weekend League starting later. A lot of people, there's a lot of demand for foot champs, I think, early today on Saturdays. People wake up, play some games. I think I want to talk about how that's going to impact the market and also just how the supply and the prices of this team of the season squad for these Premier League items is crazy. There's insane amounts of supply and these cards are really, really cheap compared to what I thought they were going to be. Bernardo Silva, again, go through all of these cards today and kind of look at them once again and just talk about how EA did a really awesome job boosting these cards and giving out for some pretty good stats. There's a little bit of hype that has been detracted, I think, um, because, you know, some of these cards, they actually downgraded stats on from what we saw from the preliminary leaks earlier on in like Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, like Mohamed Salah, instead of being 99 pace, 99 dribble, of course, now we're looking at a Salah card that has 90, uh, what is it, 98 pace and 98 dribble. So that's a bit unfortunate uh, that they downgraded some of those stats, but the cards are still so good and they're so cheap that it's making the market go crazy. And especially on these cards with all the packs that were open yesterday and how high the pack weight is, it is just an absolute madness on this market right now. So I want to take a look at all the cards that were dropped yesterday. And again, talk about how the market's going to move today on Saturday. Because again, like I mentioned, there's a really big grind for Weekend League with the later uh, start time and with the later end time. But a lot of people still wanted to get those games in as soon as possible. That's going to be impacting the market today as well. Also, I want to know, let me know down in the comments, who did you pack yesterday? Because, you know, yesterday, again, and even today with all of the packs, I opened up about half of my saved packs. I did pack some decent team of the seasons. Trent Alexander-Arnold is my biggest pull for my 85 times 20. Packed Rodri um, and a couple of the other uh, Eredivisie Tots cards, which are in the mud price-wise because of all that supply from yesterday. So if you're enjoying Team of the Season, make sure to thumbs up on the video and of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's just start from the top and take a look at all the content that was dropped yesterday with all of the cards once again. I know you guys have seen these, but I want to take into account their prices as well and how these cards moved on the market yesterday because a lot of these guys were really low to start. They rose up and now they're even lower and they're going to rise up a little bit into today on Saturday, I do believe. First of all, I think one of the most hyped up cards out of this team is actually Diogo Jota with the card that he did receive. 85 physical instead of 77. We knew that 77 from the leak was not correct. But this card started off in the first hour at about, uh, I think it was in the 300k, yeah, the 370s range, um, or even in the 330s, 340s. He, uh, he did bounce up really high after that. Uh, actually, he was around 390 to 400k. That's where he was. I bought a couple of these at like 400, sold them at 500k. He dropped all the way back down. Yeah, this is the graph, right? He was low 400s, spiked to 500, and now is all the way back down. He was 350 just a bit ago, and now he's rising back up into the day today. That was a really crazy movement. Trent Alexander-Arnold was like 220. He went to 290, back down to 220. Uh, dude, there, there's just been so many crazy fluctuations with these cards. Bruno Fernandez, which arguably is one of the most least hyped up cards from this team. He didn't get that big of a boost. They didn't upgrade his weak foot. He's only 181,000 coins. It is wild. I mean, look at this Tots team in general, right? We have cards like 94 Bernardo Silva. We have a 95 Ruben Diaz, who is 285,000 coins. We've got Allison, who actually has 91 speed. Is this like the highest speed stat of any goalkeeper that we've ever seen? In the game, the, I I, I want to try this guy out because I'm assuming he is just so fast. It's unbelievable uh, as a goalie. Like you're not going to be able to play a through ball on this guy because he's just gonna he's just gonna run out and get it. It's gonna be absolutely crazy. So that's kind of one <laughs> really interesting thing uh, that we saw from yesterday that was a leak that was actually true. Um, other than that, I mean. I was thinking Hyunmin Sun with this kind of card would end up being 1.2 to 1.3 million coins. That's what he was yesterday in the first hour, first couple hours. He went from 1.1 to 1.3 and is now at 900K. I bought a bunch of these under 900,000 coins and he's starting to rise back up. The prices on these cards are crazy, crazy cheap. Now, of course, you do have some really expensive cards on the top tier, right? We've got Cristiano Ronaldo, we've got a Sadio Mane, and we have a Mohamed Salah that 
do have some pretty spicy upgrades. Muhammad Salah, of course, not having uh, the 99 stats like we were hoping to see from the earlier on leaks. I bought one of these tonight at 2.67, and he is getting rare and rebounding back up um, just because of how low he was getting earlier. But again, these cards are just so, so hype. Mane getting the five-star skill moves. I mean, there's really, it's just a big W from the cards that were dropped yesterday. Very fun, very usable upgrades. And again, what also makes it so fun and usable is how cheap and affordable these cards are. That's part of the amazing part of this is that we have so many cards that are under a million coins like Bernardo, Bruno, Ruben Diaz that people can just go out and try in their teams. It's an absolute W. So I have no problem with the cards that EA dropped yesterday in packs. Again, we would have liked to see those stats boosted just a bit more, I think. Um, but really can't complain too much with that. Now let's talk about TOTS Flash SBCs because they're doing Flash SBCs as well, which is a big W. So if you guys have been watching these, we get new, a new one of these pretty soon. They've already released a 50K pack from the TOTS, Fla Tots Flash challenges. Um, these have been decently easy so far and they've been um, really solid packs. This one with the 82 plus packs, probably the worst one that we've had so far. But again, like I said, we had a 50K pack and some other really solid ones in there. So that was nice. We also had, and I already did this SBC for my saved up packs, the Delhi Ali SBC, which one I want to take a quick look at. Um, I think this is, if I'm being completely honest, if you take the stats that are on this card and compare them to all the other midfielders that were released yesterday in the team, this card is one of the best, if not the best besides KDB of the midfielders dropped yesterday. Four star, four star upgrade for Delhi Ali. Again, unique body type. He does have the outside foot shot trait. Doesn't have a ton of other traits, but... 97 uh, positioning, 99 heading accuracy, 97 composure, 97 ball control, 96 stamina. This card looks really good. And I know that 360K seems like a lot and the SBC seems pretty expensive. But if you want to get this done, I would get it done pretty soon from your fodder that you might have from in the club or whatever. I think this is a really solid card. Box to box midfielder. He's got the high medium work rates or a center attacking mid. You know, you can use him in a, in a plethora of different areas on the pitch. I think he's gonna really gonna be a really really good card to use, and I think it's very craftable. And like I said, I think the price on this is gonna go up over the time that it is out. It's out for like two weeks, so it's out for a while. But again, if you take a look at fodder at the moment, fodder is absolutely in the bin. I mean, we talked about it yesterday, where some of the high-rated fodder might maintain its price and have a little bit of fluctuation because there is definitely some demand there for the higher tier SBCs. There was, I think, a little bit of fluctuation on these cards. You see that uh, they, the 88s went down to about 18,000 coins. Now they're rising back up to about 21. That's not really that big of a fluctuation. Um, but your lower tier fodder, like your 83s that were two to 3,000 coins are now back down under a K. You have 84s that are 2,000 coins a piece. Like, I don't even remember when the last time 84s were 2K. Like, 84s have not been 2K since January. And, and now we're back here. So these are 100% good buys, in my opinion. You literally can't go wrong with buying 84s, uh, especially after the SBCs that we had last week with the guaranteed TOTS SBCs that were lower rated. I think that, that trend could continue. And we're going to have more player SBCs this week. You best believe that EA is going to be releasing more types of upgrade packs slash gamble SBCs. Again, usually as we see on the weekends, I think the 84s, the 85s, and even the 86s are incredible, incredible areas to stock your club with on fodder this weekend. If you want to go in on an investment as well, and you don't mind being unassigned, then you can go for that. But I think a lot of people are not going to want to be unassigned this week because of upgrade packs. That's also going to be a key part of content that we will be looking forward to in the next couple of days. And you're going to hear me talk about it a lot in the near in the near future as well. What I would want to do is if you're trying to get stacked up and ready for those upgrade packs, and again, the upgrade packs we're going to expect will be the Premier League upgrade packs. So we'll be talking about the ones that will give out 12, uh, 12 players, 12 gold players, but they will be, um, I believe it is three rare. It's basically a 25K pack of all Premier League players. It's the same upgrade packs that we had during team of the year. Um, I would expect to see those once again on this game. And I think 
that all you need to do to prepare for those upgrade packs, all you're going to have to do for that is just get yourself some rares in the club. That's all it's going to take. That's all you're going to have to do. So if you want to go out on the market and, and stock up on some gold rares, uh, I think that's all you're going to have to do. I don't think it's going to have to be Premier League gold rares. And I wonder if these are already up right now a little bit in price. 750 no they're still discard so what i would honestly do is go out on the market you can buy some prem rares stock your club if you want to but if you're like me and a lot of other people on the game yesterday your clubs are very full of gold rares because you guys opened packs yesterday and that's the thing that i want to talk about next is the pack weight was just absolutely incredible um, if you take a look at the supply on this game, I mean, even for the goalkeeper, Allison, you just see pages and pages of supply. This might be one of the cheapest, cheapest team of the season goalkeepers we have ever seen. This guy's 120,000 coins. He was just about 110 K all 90 stats. Again, like I mentioned, that is unbelievable for a goalkeeper card in this game. Trent Alexander Arnold, I think his card looks cracked as well. He's like 220, 230,000 coins, probably gonna rise up a little bit this morning. Four star, four star, 90 defense. This looks like one of the best midfielders in the game with his body type, with the traits that he has. Yes, you can play him at right back, but he looks so, so great in so many different areas. Love that card. Um, again, another card that is really cheap that was just supplied into oblivion yesterday was Ruben Diaz. Uh, you're like, Nate, Ruben Diaz is cheap because he's not as good as his team of the year item. Yes, I understand that the team of the year Ruben Diaz is better. There was a lot of panic selling on team of the year Diaz and Cancelo, but then they both rebounded for different reasons. Uh, but still, a center back of this caliber for 250,000 coins, which is probably where he's going to be later today, absolute W. So when it comes to the value of the cards that are in Premier League team this season, I think it's awesome. Um, I know that you have some really expensive cards here at the top. Cristiano, you've got Mane and Salah. I think those guys are going to be dropping in price today. Almost like assuredly they're going to be dropping in price. Uh, but I think you're going to see some rebounds first because also what you're going to see today is people waking up and they're they're going to want to go play some foot champs games. That's why I bought a, a Salah because I really think that Salah is going to end up being 3 million coins again this morning. That's why I picked him up at 2.6 because I think he's going to be there, right? That's why I picked up Hyunmin Sun at uh, 860 to 880,000 coins because I believe Sonny is right now about 930, 940. And I think that when people wake up today, they're going to go out and they're going to play some more weekendly games. I picked up some Van Dykes at 700K flat. Uh, and I believe he is closing in on like, okay, Van Dyke is basically 800,000 coins. So the rare cards are the ones that have started to bounce first. But even on the lower tier too, Bernardo Silva was like 240, 250,000 coins. And I believe he's approaching 270, 280 at the moment. So people are going to wake up today and they're going to try these cards. But these cards are all going to drop down lower tonight. I don't know if it's going to be, if we're going to be able to see it from this graph of the Tots community cards from last week. But if you guys remember, um, Salah was 1.5 on Friday. He was 1, what does it say, 1.3 on Saturday and then a 1.1 on Sunday. These cards from Premier League Team of the Season are absolutely going to drop off a bit more as we head throughout the weekend. Um, just because, again, think about it. People are playing their weekly games. There's going to be people that attain that 14-win threshold. They're going to get the tradable TOTS packs. That's going to supply the market. There's also going to be people opening up more saved up packs, opening up lightning rounds, which EA is running so many lightning rounds, and that's why these cards are so heavily supplied on the market. And that's also contributing to why they're so cheap. So I think you're going to see a small rise this morning on these TOTS cards. Then you're going to see their prices dropping into the content drop and afterwards as well. So be very careful with those. If you're trying them out today, if you're playing with them, uh, just be, be ready to sell them if you need to and to take the coins. But I do think you're going to see lower prices on these cards as we head throughout the later parts of this weekend. That's just kind of how it goes with team of the season cards that are in packs. Now, one thing I haven't looked at is the Eredivisie TOTS cards. These guys are in packs, of course, right now too. Look at the mad insane drops we've had on these. Graven Birch is 1.1 million coins on Thursday. Yeah, right? We talked about this yesterday. We're like, guys, you got to sell these cards. He's gone down 600,000 coins. He was 1.7 mil. He even rebounded to 1.4, and now he's down to 1.1. I'm going to take a look at this because that is a really, really crazy drop. I think this the, the drop on this card is obviously a combination of the panic selling um, and, of course, just the, the supply continually coming in on a card like this after he's been packed now in, in packs for two insane Fridays with so much supply 
uh, and also so much undercutting. So this card does look incredibly rare at the moment, and I don't know if the supply is glitching out on me on Graven Birch. I would assume that it is. Uh, yeah, it's definitely glitching out on me, so GG's EA Sports. But you know what? This Graven Birch might bounce back up into like the 1-2 range. So if I can snag one of these at like 1.1 mil, uh, which he's 1.141, which is crazy. This card is still so good, even though he's been out in the game for, you know, two weeks or a week and a half now instead of one. Um, but the, the, the moral of the story is, is that these cards dropped a lot as well. And they're going to keep dropping today too, because they're again in packs until tomorrow on Sunday. And people are going to pack them from the tradable rewards that are a part of the 14 win rewards in the weekend league starting today. People are going to get those 14 win cards. And again, last week, this is when you saw these guys dropping down a decent amount more too in price on this game. So that's kind of where I'm at with these cards. The Tots cards from the Premier League and the Eredivisie, both still in packs. Going to have some rises today, but also I think we're going to have some more drops in prices uh, heading into basically later on today, later into tonight, Saturday night, into Sunday on this game. That's kind of what I'm expecting with these cards. Now, let's talk about the out-of-packs market because like Nate, look at Zaha. He is 440,000 coins. I sold two of these at 450 yesterday absolutely banged in price but there was a window in here right around the content drop where you have these guys dropping a bit i think zaha went to like 370 for a hot second then he exploded to 450 fred i bought another fred at 465k or something like that he is now over 500,000 coins after yesterday yeah see a little bit of panic right here in that first hour right and we talked about it yesterday too that first hour on the market yesterday on community tots cards on just the whole entire out of packs market it was chaos right and that is exactly what we expected we had guys um like the marcelo go from 1.5 mil where he is back to now all the way down to 1.35 and now he has rebounded back up uh a lot of your most meta and popular players had that sort of fluctuation martinelli is 600k he was down to 480k, I believe, right? He went from 570 down to 480 and then exploded back to 600. It's the exact same thing that we saw last week during Community Tots happened again today or yesterday with Premier League. Now, the only problem is, is those Premier League cards. Those are the ones that rebounded back up really heavily. You have some other cards that are absolutely mudded because they're not Premier League and the hype has kind of strayed away from some of those and it's now kind of strayed into... Uh, again, the Premier League card. So you take a look at this Lucas Paqueta, who is 380,000 coins, who is absolutely in the mud. Some, A lot of the market, not some of the market, a lot of it. I mean, this guy's down almost 100,000 coins from yesterday after the big drops. Fakir is 200k flat. Dybala was like 800,000 coins to start off the day yesterday. He was 800k. He went all the way down to 670. He was even 660 for a minute and is now back up to 700,000 coins. But big drops on some cards that were out of packs just because everybody right now is trying oh my goodness pedri is 850 dog what is this he was a mill pedri was 1.05 yesterday dropped down to 900 rebounded up and then is now 850 that is crazy to see some of these prices on the market and you're like nate will some of these rebound maybe a little bit this morning as they're just rare and as people want to go out and of course play some weekend league today you might see a few of these bounce back up but wow, Pedri, I mean, I think I'm going to have to pick one of these up. If I see 830, which there's an 849 right there, that's so, so, so low. So I think with just your demand and some of these cards being used in Weekend League, you might see them pick up a little bit today on the market. Um, but again, everybody's focused on Premier League. That's where the hype is right now with these brand new Tots cards being so cheap. That's what everybody wants to use. And those are the cards that everybody wants to try out. And that's why you're seeing... Uh, a lot of the rest of the market really get destroyed um, in prices right now. Now, just a really quick word about this Ronaldo. 5.1 mil, I think is too much. Uh, I think he should be in the low fours, and I think he will get there later on to today. So that's just kind of a shout for him. So be very careful with that kind of card uh, on the market today. Now, let's talk Saturday content for a second as well as we get towards the end of this video. Um, I, we have a Harry Kane SBC that is leaked, and we had the Delhi Alley yesterday. It would be right up EA's alley to drop an SBC that would link to the Delhi Alley the day afterwards. We've actually had two um, English SBCs in a row. Joe Gomez, Delhi Alley. They could make it three today with Harry Kane. 
that's the only other leaked SBC card I believe that we do have. So today, the big hype is going to be around what player SBC are we going to get. The flash challenges are still going to be pretty hyped. I wouldn't expect like a new icon SBC today because, of course, the icon moments upgrade um, does not re-release until tomorrow on Sunday. We'll take a look at that then. But I think we could get a Harry Kane SBC today. Maybe another player SBC if he's not going to be the one. Um, and it might just be a little bit of a slower day. Saturdays have been slower days on FIFA. So it's just more of a time to grind your games, to try out some of the new cards, and of course to start getting those rewards. Now let's take a look at objectives really quick as well because you guys are like, Nate, what's going on here in objectives? Tot Saka, W objective. It's 10 games, I believe, in the Premier Play Live Foot Friendly, but that's a nice card. Really nice card for an objective item. 95 pace, 89 passing. Nice defense and physical for a right mid that could, you could use in a lot of different places on the pitch as well. And then David De Gea gets himself that objective. Like we did mention, we got both objective cards. Uh, and De Gea gets himself a pretty nice item uh, available from squad battles or rivals. Now, let's talk tokens. Really, I can't believe I've waited this long in the video to talk about tot swaps. Make sure you take note of these team of the season swap cards. And I want to show you this graph because this is big, big information as well. This is a little bit of a tracker. There are four tokens released right now. One was free. One was from the Prem Challenge SBC. Uh, and then two from objectives, De Gea and Saka. Now, these will not expire until later on in the week. So you have a few time or you have a little bit of time, a few days to get those. But make sure you keep track and follow with one of these swap token trackers. I'll probably show one of these every single day during the video so you can keep track of these. Because as it was leaked, the rewards are exactly as we expected. And it's going to be 25 tokens given out with the rewards starting on the 20th of May. So the rewards for these are not out yet, but you can start collecting the tokens. There's going to be 24 tokens released with one available in the store. We have not seen the store token yet. So far, it's only been in objectives and SBCs. Now, the only part that you have to be really careful with this is if EA were to drop one of these tokens in a flash challenge, that would be very, very careful. So make sure you're keeping an eye on these flash challenges on the companion app. If you're out and about on the go or whatever, just keep an eye on those because EA might be a bit sneaky and release a TOTS Flash Challenge that would contain one of these swaps cards. That would be a bit mean in my opinion, but I could see them doing it. Who knows? So, chat, honestly, I just I just refer to you guys as chat. We are not streaming. We are on the YouTube channel. Uh, <laughs> that's my bad. But the market is an absolutely crazy place. I bought this Tiago for 494. Uh, we did make a lot of coins yesterday. Like I said, I bought a Fred for 460, sold it for 550. I bought two Joel Coles at 615, sold them for 700. Uh, I have some Rudiger's bought at 300. I still have a lot of cards, right? Van Dykes that I bought at 700,000 coins. He's now almost 800K. I think I bought like five or six Sonaldos around 860 to 870 for most of them. Still have some Brunos that I'm losing on. I uh, have some Kyle Walkers that I'm doing pretty good on right now. A lot of gold fodder. Uh, and then some other random Premier League specials that I'm probably going to take the coins on later this weekend. But the market's, the market's living uh, nice because a lot of these cards are just so hyped because they're Premier League links and all that sort of stuff. But there's going to be some really, really good flips as I was just talking about with like the Graven Birch and some of these other TOTS cards today on Saturday because there's still a lot of fight for people uh, playing the Weekend League and playing this game and, and using cards. And there's a lot of coins on this market now as well from all of the packs that were open yesterday. So that's kind of an update on the market and everything that's going on. Uh, number 12 on the TOTS counter. Again, like I mentioned, Trent Alexander-Arnold is my best pack pull. Rodri was my second best one. Other than that, it was just some of the lower tier Eredivisie and other TOTS cards. Not really any huge team of season guys yet, but we have a lot more packs to open and we'll be opening them on stream later on this week. Probably on Sunday, you'll see me open a decent more of those when we will next be streaming on Twitch. So let me know down in the comments again who you guys packed today from Prem Tots. If you got anything sick, I love to see it. But I've seen so many tweets already of people packing insane stuff. It's wild and I absolutely love it. So if you guys enjoyed the video today, smash thumbs up on it. Again, comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate's Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.